Hello everybody, I'm Dr. W.H. Pennywit, the Pennywit Center for Counseling and Education. Welcome to another installment of at the Pennywit Center. As you recall, the last time we met, we talked about food as a drug. We talked a little bit about cortisol and how stress builds up that cortisol in our system and causes us to overeat. And we grab for the fatty foods, we grab for the high sugar, high salt, high fat content foods. That is called using food as a drug. And so today I want to discuss a little bit about why we reach out for this drug. First of all, as a doctor in the faith-based mental health field, I've come to realize people never reach out for drugs or alcohol just for fun. We know that, that teenagers, young people, they get together and sometimes they'll partake of these drugs or, or alcohol and they say they're just out partying having a good time. Well, I know many, many hundreds of young people that have a great time and they never touch a drug. They never touch alcohol. So when somebody goes for a drug or alcohol, they're trying to, to numb something. And so when we reach for food, we're trying to numb something. Now, what I would like you to do is read the article that's, that's below this uh, video. These articles are going to begin to explain in detail what I'm talking about because I'm just going to touch on the basics here on this video. So the first thing we need to understand is temperament is within each one of us. When God designed us, he built us with temperaments. Now we, we profile, when we give a temperament profile, which we do here at the Pennywood Center, we profile in three areas. The first area is inclusion. Inclusion is where your social orientation and your intellectual energies lie. The second area is control. Control is our willingness to make decisions and take on responsibility for self and others. And the third and final area that we profile is affection. And that's our need for deep personal relationship. So you can see that within each one of these three areas, we can find difficulties if our temperament needs aren't being met. And inclusion, that's where our social orientation and our intellectual energies lie. If our temperament needs are not being met, that's going to cause stress. Stress releases cortisol. Cortisol causes us to overeat. Can you see the correlation? Can you see the connection? We're going to get into this a little bit more later.